Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Relationship Schools podcast. I'm your host, Jason Gaddis. Glad and grateful to be here, bending your ear. Thanks for playing. And by playing, I mean being the kind of person who wants to play in the art of relationships and listen and learn. You know, uh, you have probably a lot of friends that think they know how to do relationship pretty well, but under stress, they don't. They maybe act like us. Um, bottom line is relationships, long-term relationships in particular, can be tricky and difficult and challenging and confronting and triggering. And this podcast is designed to help you navigate those waters better so that you can enjoy the ride more. Because I think it's a fantastic ride. I love my wife and our relationship my relationship with my kids, my relationship with my parents. There's so much to learn in all of these relationships. And um, yeah, I get to choose where and how and when I want to learn about those, which relationships, you know? So do you. <clears throat> but I can assure you that if you put the work in ongoingly, you'll enjoy your relational life more. Yeah, it's just so fun and intense. Okay. Reminder, we're taking applications for Deeper, our nine-month training. That's relationshipschool.com forward slash DPIR. We just went through another price increase. Um, so if you're kind of like thinking about this, the time to get in is now uh, so that you can get your application in and, and move through the process of applying. You don't have to be 100% in. Um, you can talk to our growth coordinator and decide if this is the best fit for you. And we want to make sure it's the best fit for us. So that's why we interview you. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that. I'm putting some new uh, videos there. So it's just my name, uh, you know, youtube.com slash my name, I think. Or just type in your YouTube search bar, Jason Gaddis, and you'll find the channel. Um, that's Jason with a Y, all right? And subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to be doing more and more videos, all right? Okay. In this episode, I want to talk briefly about relational development and spirituality. Yeah, we've covered this before in episodes 176, 251, and 224. Um, yeah, we've talked about spiritual communities and why they are challenged relationally. We uh, I interviewed Tammy Simon who is a big thought leader in the spiritual growth movement. Uh, she runs Sounds True. That's 251. And then I, my wife and I talked about why spiritually developed people struggle with monogamy. So these are all episodes I want you to go listen to. But I wanted to remind you of a couple of key points because I continue to see it uh, when I coach people and my students and then just people out in the world. Spiritual development doesn't have anything to do with relational development. So you might be very spiritually aware. You might be a deep meditator, a deep yogi, a uh, deep, you know, chanter. Um, but you might also simultaneously struggle in long-term relationships. That's why most spiritual traditions have not done relational developmental work. You can't bypass your development in your nervous system by just going into a, a certain state, all right? So there's a lot of people in the entrepreneurial scene right now into transcendental meditation, and it's doing nothing to help their relational capacity um, other than potentially helping you be more okay with your experience. But a lot of transcendental meditation is usually moving away from your experience, I call that dissociation, by the way. Relational development, if you want to be a mature adult, relational development's required. All right? And if you want to be an awesome parent, relational development is required. If you want to have a great, sustainable, long-term relationship, relational development is required. That includes dealing with your attachment 
nervous system, which Sue Johnson talked about recently, and so many other guests on this podcast, it, it has to do with a lot of things. But um, some of you walk around, at least in Boulder, thinking you're very spiritually developed, but then you turn into an adolescent or a child in your intimate partnerships. And that's not, you know, there's nothing wrong with you because you're doing that. It's because you keep thinking that your spiritual practice is going to be effective in terms of relational development. But when we look at so many relational teachers, or excuse me, uh, spiritual teachers, who are uh, experts in their wheelhouse of spirituality, the Adi Ashantis and the Mujis and all that, Prim Babas. But when it comes to, again, relational development, if it hasn't been worked on, it's not gonna, it's not gonna go well, guys. Okay, you can't just go keep falling back into this blissed out place and expect your nervous system to not get triggered next time you're with your spouse. Uh, good luck. Okay, I just see this so much that I want to keep banging this drum for you. All right. Feel free to challenge your spiritual friends too. I love spirituality. I'm a th I feel like a deeply spiritual human being. So I'm not anti-spirituality. I am pro-spirituality, but I'm also pro-relationship and pro-human development. And I just know from my own experience, having practiced meditation hardcore for many years, that it didn't do much to change my triggers with my now wife, then girlfriend. It just didn't do much. And I was I, I accomplished some pretty cool things in my own in my own development, in my own interior spiritually. But relationally, I had still had so much work to do, and I'm still doing that work. I don't think it ever stops. All right. Okay. Um, feel free to forward this to a spiritual friend who might be bypassing. They might get pissed off and defensive, but feel free to forward it to them. And thanks for being the kind of person who wants to develop relationally. Relational development. Yeah. Uh, we offer a map where you can do that and tools. It's called interpersonal intelligence. It's basically relational development 101. All right. And um, come play with us if you want to do it here and you like what, what we're bringing, all right? Okay, thanks again. And uh, thanks for subscribing to this podcast. And we'll talk soon. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Relationship School fans and Smart Couple listeners, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, all right? Do us a favor, subscribe, share one of these videos with a friend, all right? We want to help the planet get their act together around relationships. And you are one of them. So thank you.